I trust your new year is off to a great start. You had a wonderful time at Christmas with your family. I want to update you on a number of things God has been doing in and through us as a Calvary family. If we looked back over the last several weeks, the holiday time, the time around Christmas, there have been a number of activities that have drawn folks to our campus and given us the opportunity to share the hope of Christ with them. We had hundreds of students here for an overnight early in December. We had our Star Wonder event on our campus where thousands joined us. We had the opportunity to have moms and ladies involved in various activities like the ladies' tea. And then we had on campus for the first time the Special Needs Christmas Shop where hundreds of volunteers served dozens of families who were in need. We even had opportunities to welcome folks in the community who probably have never been on our campus before through activities and ministries like the Handel's Messiah Sing Along. And then as we think about what God did through this last month, we, we really have to also take into consideration what God did through the Christmas weekend, our five Christmas Eve services, and, and how God worked. We had about 20% more in terms of people this year over last Christmas for our Christmas Eve services. That's an incredible number. We had 9,400 people join us for one of those five Christmas Eve services. And that number is pretty impressive. But even more impressive is that that number represents individual lives of moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and kids who got to hear what Christmas is really all about and got to be introduced to the good news of Jesus Christ. And then I know a number of you have been praying for God to provide for us in a special way through our year-end offering. Our goal was pretty big, $1,850,000 to help us fund ministries like benevolence and local outreach and special needs and, and our whole missions ministry here and around the world for an entire year. And I'm, I'm happy and thrilled to say our God has again proved himself good to us as a church family. Through your generosity and faithful stewardship, God provided us uh, that amount. We met the goal uh, plus some. We don't have all the final numbers, but we know we reached the goal and we exceeded the goal a little bit. And that is incredible. And we thank God for his faithfulness to us. And I want to thank you for your generosity and your part because that amount of money represents an investment in Christ's kingdom to help us communicate the good news of Jesus Christ with others. And that amount of money didn't come from one or two sources. As a matter of fact, not only was that perhaps one of the largest single month offerings we've had ever in Calvary's history, it also represented the most number of givers we've ever had in a single month. So the number of giving units went up. We were all a part of something special that God is doing in and through us. And I want to again say thank you for your hours of service, the ways in which you invested through toys and food and, and through our special year-end offering. I, I look forward to what God has for us in 2018 and may God bless you as you walk with him in this new year.